Hi everyone, Sean Gilliam here with Remax Alliance. Hope you all had a great summer. In this episode, we'll be looking at market data specifically for the city of Longmont, but then at the end, I'll also compare overall average sales prices for Boulder, Larimer, and Weld County, so you can kind of get a big picture and see how things are progressing so far this year. Uh, overall, we saw kind of a flat summer as far as sales, not too much change in the overall data, uh, but we did see an increase or a pickup here in the month of August. And we typically expect that to happen between August and October, so buyers and sellers did not disappoint. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what we have. For single family homes in August, we saw a 5.8% increase in average sales price over August of 2018. The year to date average sales price is $516,000, only slightly lower than last year at this time when it was about $521,000. The data for days on market is about the same. From listing date to closing date, the average was 57 days in August in comparison to 58 days in August of 2018. The year-to-date data is roughly the same at 56 days through August 2019 as compared to 59 days through August of 2018. Still looking at low inventory, the month supply of inventory was 2.5 months in August as compared to 2.1 months in August of 2018. And homes are selling at about 99.2% of their original list price on average. This is on par with August of 2018 when it was about 99.5%. Looking at the data for condos and townhomes, the average sales price was $347,500 for the month of August. That's down about 9% from August of 2018. The year-to-date average sales price in this category is just over $338,000, and that's down about 4% from the same period last year. All this shows is that buyers for the month of August and from January uh, through August of this year, uh, buyers are more interested in buying condos and townhomes at a lower price point. So it doesn't have a direct impact on what the value of your townhome or condo is. When we look at sold price to list price, condos and townhomes are selling at 99.8% of their original list price. This is a good sign. It means buyers are coming in right at list price or maybe just a little bit lower, but not much. The last piece of data for condos and townhomes I want to look at is the average days on market. As you know, that is a, a period that we measure from the original list date until the property finally closes. And for the month of August for condos and townhomes, that was about 89 days, which is up almost 46% from August of 2018. I think it's important to clarify that I believe this number is skewed upwards. And that's because on the MLS, there are quite a few new construction listings. And some of those have been on the market for 100, even 200 or more days. And so that's why I think this number isn't quite accurate or a fair representation of how long condos are taking to go to closing. Now for the bigger picture, here's the data for the main counties here in Northern Colorado. We've got Boulder, Larimer, and Weld counties. And so we, here we have the average sales price for single family homes and the days on market. And as you can see, the average sales price has gone up across the board and the days on market is about the same. Uh, for instance, Boulder County showed 58 days in August of 2018, as opposed to 57 days for 2019. So overall, the average days on market has stayed the same. So that's a wrap for this episode. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Also, we're right in the middle of that hot fall market. So if you're looking to sell your home and you want an idea of what you can sell your home for and what you need to do to get it ready, uh, get in touch with me. I'd be glad to meet with you and get you set up and so we can get your home on the market uh, before this fall rushes over. You can reach me here at Gilliam at remax.net or call me at 970-313-6706. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.